Ken Paxton has been recently under a lot of pressure because of allegations from former employees saying that he abused power and some other legal troubles. He denies all of those claims. Meanwhile, Lee Merritt is no stranger to the courtroom or on the news, and now he wants to take his message statewide. Lee Merritt has been in the news for years while representing families in high-profile cases. Jordan Edwards, Botham John, and Atatiana Jefferson, to name a few. Saturday morning, Merritt posted a video on Instagram explaining why he wants to be the state's next attorney general. I was discussing with a, uh, a reporter some of my concerns about the lack of inaction and the lack of resources for people in mental health crisis in Texas and whose responsibility it was to ensure that law enforcement wasn't killing people in the process of getting them to uh, mental health clinics and you know, poor training of uh, police officers to deal with people in mental health crisis. He's not the stereotypical law and order guy. He's a police reform advocate. And that's very different from the profile that we've come to expect for people in, in legal positions in the state of Texas. We talked to SMU political science professor Matthew Wilson about Merritt's chances. So I think he would be well positioned to compete for the nomination. Um, I think actually, though, that if Paxton gets someone who is a very outspoken reform activist like this, maybe further to the left within the Democratic Party as his opponent, Paxton would actually see that as beneficial. He would see that as helpful because Paxton is potentially vulnerable. I'm not sure that he is vulnerable statewide to someone who has that sort of activist profile. Ken Paxton will likely seek a third term as AG. He ran unopposed in the 2018 primary and probably will again. But Paxton only managed a four point win in the general election. Add to that an indictment on securities fraud, a whistleblower lawsuit by most of his senior legal team accusing him of abusive office and concerns about the effect of playing to President Trump's base in the Republican Party. And Paxton suddenly faces some headwinds to the reelection. Merritt is currently representing the family of Marvin Scott, a man with mental health issues who died while in the custody at Collin County Jail. Merritt blames Paxton for officers who might not have proper mental health training. And I said that it was a uh... Paxton's responsibility. And I had been telling Kim Paxton that for a while, but he blocked me. And I said, if he didn't do his job, I would take his job. It's clear he doesn't want to do his job, so I, I decided to go ahead and take it. I'll announce later. And again, in reference to the allegations of abuse of power and the indictment from multiple years ago, Kim Paxton says he denies all claims.